Good morning, world changers. How are we all on this very wet, drizzly Sunday? I can't believe how quickly the weather has changed. But I hope you're all keeping well and uh, life is well. I hope you've settled into lockdown and life as it is and uh, you're starting to ease back into. Hopefully we'll be opening up soon, so we'll be returning to whatever the new normal will be. Good morning Anne, I hope you're well. Good to have you on here. So yes, I'm asking, so in it's Nourishment Month in our online coaching group Change Your World Every Day and we're going to be starting this uh, next uh, tomorrow, Monday the 22nd and we're very much looking at how well you nourish yourself. We're going to be taking three different coaches and taking three different angles on it. And we're starting tomorrow with Gemma Ray. Now, she will be asking and talking all about self-discipline and procrastination. So I'm curious to know, do you nourish yourself? Do you take steps that fill you up? Take the actions that you require that lift your soul, make your heart sing, that feed your mind, body and soul. Are you nourishing yourself? And if the answer is no, then why not? What is stopping you? What is holding you back? Hey Jane, lovely to see you here. Thanks for joining. So yeah, what is stopping you from nourishing yourself? Chances are it could be self-discipline. Now, self-discipline is not something that is comes to as automatic. It is a learned practice. And that is what our Coach of the Week, uh, Gemma Ray, is going to take us through. And it's quite ironic, given that she had an, a PhD in procrastination, but she forced herself to learn the subject and practice it. So she's coming from somewhere that she's been there, got the T-shirt, and she's written two amazing, incredible books on it. Hey, Joan, it's so lovely to see all you guys. All these people up on a Sunday morning, bright and breezy. What are you all up to? What are you going to be doing today? So, yeah, I'm talking about the subject of self-discipline because this is an area that we you know we have to learn and the only way we can learn this is through consistent application having inspiring role models and people around us to keep us motivated when we feel like giving up but we also need the tools and techniques so Gemma absolutely fundamentally believes that self-discipline is the highest form of self-care. She says it's about making a promise to yourself and sticking to that promise and not reneging on it. It's like we will make promises to our, our commitments to our colleagues at work, we'll meet deadlines, we'll make promises to our family, to our friends, our loved ones, to even strangers. We will make commitments and say, yeah, I'll be there, I'll do that. But then we go and sacrifice ourselves, let ourselves down. And it's why is that? It's because we're not truly valuing ourselves. We're putting ourselves at the bottom of the pile. And this is what we're hoping to turn around for you in Change Your World Every Day by helping you understand that it's not selfish to put yourself first. It's not selfish to give yourself an hour out of your day to grow, to develop, to learn and have apply these practices and stop procrastinating because that is fundamentally what is holding you back from making the changes you want to make in life. Every single one of us, myself included, even though I'm completely engrossed in personal development, there are still changes in my life that I am resisting, I'm avoiding and you know, there's all kinds of, and I still got to work on that. And that's what personal development does. That's what this group with Change Your World Every, does, uh, Every Day does. Because we invite different coaches on every week. We have uh, a theme for the month. This month is Nourishment Month, like I've said. We have a coach for the week. They broadcast daily at eight every, eight every morning live, which can be watched live or on replay. So if, don't worry if you're working or that's not a good time for you, you can always watch it uh, later date. That's the beauty of our group and which is what's quite unique about our group because we don't just have one coach with their limited content or their limited angle. We have a whole buffet 
of coaches. I like to put, like to think of my group as a buffet. If you think of a lunch and you've got this table full of amazing foods, you can pick what you need and what is right for you. And you're not just limited to the one option or the two options, what have you, that you often get in other coaching groups. This is the real unique beauty of this group because we have, a, like I say, a different coach each week. They will broadcast for three weeks. Uh, well, they do one week each, three different angles on the same topic. Hey, Jenny, nice to see you. And then on the final week, we have evaluation week we have a review week. So this is a week of space for you to really look over your notes, really review where you are. What is it that you're trying to change? What have you learned from the coaches? How are you going to apply it? And really uh, show up and do a check-in and you know say to people, okay, this is what I'm working on. This is what I wanna change. So it creates accountability. It creates commitment. You've made the promise to yourself. So again, it's implementing the tools, techniques, the practices and everything that has been holding you back from making the changes you've been making, meaning to make. So that's what I wanted to come on and talk to you about this morning. Just let you know that this is happening tomorrow. We start with Gemma Ray, Monday the 22nd. So if you do want to uh, increase your self-discipline, improve your self-discipline, stop your procrastination, and you do are ready to start working on the things that you have been meaning to change in your life, then start now. Don't procrastinate. We have a two week free trial that you can try. So you're not committing to anything. You sign up for the two week free trial. And then if at the end of the 14 days you want to continue, it's a pound a day. Well, it's actually less than a pound a day, like a dollar a day, a euro a day, depending on where you're watching this from in the world, because anywhere you can ex access, access this and all our coaches. And uh, yeah, what, Joan, I have been procrastinating with activity, so I've decided on a 10 minute brisk walk this morning. Start, fantastic. And you know, that is the best way to do it because one of the things that stops us from doing any new thing or activity is that we, we do it and we see it as the big goal. We don't chunk it down into bite-sized pieces. If you think of the task as a whale, and you're sitting there looking up going, oh my God, how am I ever going to get through this? Then immediately you're just put off and you're thinking, I'm not even going to start. But if you think, okay, I'm just going to do, how am I going to eat this whale? I'm just going to do it in bite-sized pieces. So that is fantastic, Joan. Just start with a 10 minute walk. And I guarantee as soon as you get out the door, you do your 10 minutes, you'll be like, I'm enjoying this. I'm not ready to go back. And it'll become 15 minutes. It'll be before you know, it, it'll be 20 minutes. But if you just tell your brain it's 10 minutes, you're like, do you know what? I can do this. I actually applied this yesterday because I've taken up my running again in the mornings. And honest to God, <laughs> like when am I running? Um, no, I was going to say when am I running? I love it. That's a lie. <laughs> I love it when I get back and I feel proud of myself. But during it, I'm like, oh my God, this is hard, this hurts, oh, it's wet, it's raining, blah, 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 all the excuses under the sun. And when I'm lying in my bed and it's warm and it's cosy, oh, nothing makes me want to get out and put my running gear on and go out in the pouring rain. But I used this technique yesterday. I was like, do you know what? Suze, this is half an hour of your life. This is half an hour of your life. And this is going to have massive gains for you just by doing this. And that's what got me out of the door. And I was able, I came back and I actually proper proud of myself. The last two days I have done over 22,000 steps because not only did I get out in my garden, I also went for another walk in the afternoon around the woods and I did my run in the morning. And I, I haven't done 22,000 steps for donkeys so I mean I'm lucky you know because I work I do desk I you know work in an office and um, work from home sitting at my desk and it's because I work for myself it's so easy just to sit at my computer just working away not taking proper breaks and sometimes I can look at my Fitbit and I'm like oh my god I've not even done 3,000 steps and it's so easy just to sit there so 
brilliant technique just to go out and say, right, I'm just going to go for a 10 minute walk around the block. And I've started doing that. And it's amazing how many times, you know, how much steps you just do for doing that. Hey, Emma, nice to see you. We keep meaning to catch up and we've not made it happen yet. So uh, it'll be, let's make it happen when lockdown is happening, uh, is over. Let's go when lockdown's put in a right what's the word just stopping good things happening but yeah that's what we're talking about today self-discipline that's what we're going to be talking about all week in our online coaching group you know uh, developing the practice of self-discipline so that you can achieve all your goals make the changes that you've been meaning to make because this is the this is the bridge between why you're not doing and achieving the things that you want. All these changes you've said, I must do that, I must do this. This is the key to it. It is the self-discipline. That is the bridge that will take you from here to where you want to be. But self-discipline is a learned practice. It's not something that comes naturally. It's not something that comes automatic. It has to be learning tools and techniques and applying them. And by doing that, getting some role models around you, a community of supportive people and daily inspiration from coaching. So that's what we're going to be talking about this week with Gemma Ray uh, starting tomorrow, Monday the 22nd. If you want to come along and try out our group, we have a two week free trial. And if you want to stick in the group after that, it's a pound a day, a dollar a day, a euro a day, wherever you are in the world. So for 30 quid, 29.99 a month, and there's no tie-in to the subscription, so you're not committing for a year. But of course you will commit because you are committed to your self-discipline practice. But we're talking about nourishment this month, so we'll be starting off with that for the first week. Second week is with Janice Klein from Nourished by Nature, and she's going to be taking us through all the amazing uh, foods and ingredients that we can use to increase our gut microbiome because you, in order to perform on every level at the highest, highest level you can, in mind, body and spirit, you have to have your gut microbiome sorted and great and in good shape. This is what keeps your immune system strong. This is what keeps your brain cells working. This is everything, your productivity, your energy levels, everything comes from your gut. So she's going to be talking about that. So do not miss that week. And then finally, we've got Stephen Aitchison, who's going to be talking about uh, his book, The Belief Principle. And this is all about where your thoughts come from, your belief systems, how you've been conditioned, the influences and how you start changing that to more empowering thoughts so that you can nourish your mind as well and get rid of that inner critic or have a better relationship with that inner critic and realise when it's starting to kick in and it's not serving you. So it's an absolutely incredible month. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll put the details if you want to sign up are in the post above. I'll put them in the comments as well. But please help us spread the word uh, with Change Your World and what we're doing here because you will know somebody that right now is possibly going through some challenges and they may need uh, some a supporting hand. And what better way to invite them into a group where we've got over 50 co uh, coaches that you can get direct access to. You can have one to ones with if you want to have, take your personal development private um, and more deeper. Or you can just access the daily coaching sessions. And, you know, like I say, all coaching sessions are available to watch live. Or you can watch them on replay. So we've done confidence, we've done self-worth, we've done nutrition, we've done stress management, we've done recognition, we have done learning to love and accept yourself. Uh, we've got happiness month coming up. All we've got an incredible lineup of topics that are there and available. So do check it out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That's me. I'm going to get on with the rest of my uh, day today and do the things that I've been procrastinating and putting off. I'm going to eat the frog. That's another great book to uh, read. Eat that frog by Brian Tracy. All about uh, just doing the jobs that you don't want to do. Just do it first. Think of it as a frog and uh, 
you know, think about eating it, thinking that could be the worst thing you have to do in your day. Well, that's what you do with the tasks that you don't want to do. Do it first, get it out of the way, it takes away the brain energy and brain space and everything after that is a total breeze. So there's another top tip for you. So love to you all. Take care and I'll see you all soon. All the best. Bye.